Hello there, it's me, Agil Torson. Just to let you know that I'm going to be talking about a folk tale from Norway, introducing uh, a cuckoo and a cow and a black cock. Livestock's very important out in Norway. It's a sign of wealth, and also the weather being it, it is, there's not much in the way of livestock. But anyway, let's not let that spoil our view and sit back relax and enjoy as i tell you about this good old folk tale catch you later so here we are in norway cold bleak magnificent and beautiful the land of fjords and stories folk tales are up from there as we sit around the fire at night and the one I'm going to tell you about today is the cock, the cuckoo and the black cock. The cock, the cuckoo and the black cock got together and they bought a cow. Beautiful thing it was. And they took it back home and in their long house they went to sleep and woke up next morning the cuckoo said, The cow's mine, the cow's mine. What do I do with it? This woke up the the uh, cockerel, like a share, uh, a cow, half, half the cow is mine, half the cow is mine. The black cock woke up and said, I like share, I like share, dear friends, that's only fair. Now, who do you think deserved the share? An ethical problem posed a cow, so why should the cows be so important? Well. We're talking of a time when money was, I know it sounds odd, only used by rich people. Most people bartered. Uh, the sign of wealth was cows, cattle. Why would that be? Well, you've got milk, you've got meat, and you can get leather from them. And out in Norway, where it's cold and chilly, it also shows that you're a wealthy person because you've got to feed these uh, cows all through. So, yeah, and also in some places they put livestock in the house and a cow will keep you warm. Somewhat smelly, of course. But, of course, cows are very useful. And there came a time around autumn when you kept the best cows you could afford to keep. The rest you slaughtered. And hence you have the midweek feast that people call today Christmas. There was a time in springtime or called Tramilki where you could milk the cows three times a day. Of course, milk itself, until we get pasteurisation in the 19th century, you could die of bovine um, tuberculosis and that accounted for a lot of people. So you tend to make cheese rather than drink the milk and uh, that way the heat treated they didn't realize it made it safer so we come to that cows are a resource a wealth a sign of wealth indeed even in the Irish sagas you hear of cattle raiders and no doubt it went on in Norway and Scandinavia and England because money wealth you're gonna take what you can while you can um, the punishments for it, well, you know, a whole community might suffer. But in any way, that's spoken briefly about cattle. Okay, and if you have enjoyed this, and I hope you have, just press hashtag runes, or in the more traditional way, press the subscription bell up in the corner there, and we'll let you know of future events in advance. And uh, till we meet again. Goodbye.